Hello everyone, Sans here. In this video, let's talk about some issues after updating One UI 2.0 on Samsung smartphone. In this video, I use Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and Note 10 smartphone to explain the issues and some of the solutions that I already found. For other Samsung smartphone series, will be most likely the same and not much different. Now let's take a look at the issues of One UI 2.0 and also some of the solutions. The first thing that looks different and might be a problem for those of you who have just updated to One UI 2.0 is the appearance of a shortcut to open Samsung Pay application. It appears at the bottom of the display. The shortcut automatically reappears after updating to One UI 2.0 update. The shortcut can be seen on the home screen and also at the bottom display on the lock screen. If you feel that this shortcut is a bit annoying, especially if you don't use full screen navigation, you can easily disable the Samsung Pay Quick Access feature by opening the Samsung Pay application. From there, you only need to select the option menu at the top left corner. And then choose settings and choose quick access. From here, you can easily disable Samsung Pay Quick Access feature for lock screen and home screen. The second issues that I face after updating to One UI 2.0 update is the appearance of a black bar at the bottom of the keyboard. This black bar makes the keyboard position raised a little bit and if you usually type on the keyboard from the default position, this will certainly be a bit problem when typing. To get rid of the black bar under the keyboard is very easy. Just go to the settings, then select display and navigation bar option. From here, you only need to disable the show button to hide keyboard option at the bottom. But actually, if you use multiple keyboards and change them frequently, you can show this black bar to show the keyboard's quick switch button on the left side of this black bar. The third issue is the missing of swipe right on the navigation bar features to open recent apps. On previous one, we have version 1.5 on Samsung Galaxy Note 10. You can access recent apps or the latest application by swiping right from the home button. Here, you can also access multiple recent applications by swiping left and right easily. After the latest One UI 2.0 update, these features has been removed. For the solution, the most similar features from this previous feature is to enable full screen navigation gesture. You can activate full navigation gesture from the settings and then select display and activate full screen gestures. To get almost similar experience like the previous One UI features, you can also activate gesture hints option. By activating this option, you can open recent apps by swiping left or right. If the gesture hints option is not activated, you won't be able to access recent apps like this. But you can actually access recent apps by doing five swipe like this. If you want to move left and right, you have to hold for a few seconds as usual. For the next issue is not being able to access Google Assistant by swiping up and hold. On the previous version of One UI, you can access Google Assistant by swiping up and hold for a few seconds. The solution after the update, you can access Google Assistant by swiping up from the lower left corner or from the lower right corner of the screen. If your smartphone also has a dedicated Bixby button like on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, you can also remap the Bixby button to access Google Assistant and of course it will be much easier. If you don't know how to remap the Bixby button on Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus or other Samsung device to open Google Assistant, you can watch our previous videos by checking out the link at the top right corner of this video. The next issue is the missing of 3D motion effect features when applying wallpaper. For those of you who are not familiar with motion effect, this motion effect is a feature to make the wallpaper moving along with the movement of the smartphone. It will add some 3D effect on your wallpaper. On the previous version of One UI 1.0, when changing the wallpaper, the motion effect setting will appear at the bottom. However, on this latest One UI 2.0 update, there is no longer motion effects option. 
On this one UI 2.0 version, you can also shift the position of the wallpaper and also zoom in or zoom out to change the position of the wallpaper. Unfortunately, there is still no solution for this 3D motion effect features until this video is uploaded. If there is a new update, I will let you know on our Telegram or my Instagram account. You can join our Telegram channel from the link on this video description. The last issue is the missing ability to swipe to change cities on the weather widget from the home screen. If you frequently travel and occasionally change weather locations, this feature might actually be quite important. In One UI 1.5, you can easily set several cities and check the weather forecast from the home screen. However, on One UI 2.0, it can't be changed like that anymore. If you open the application, you also can't swipe left or right to change the city. Hopefully, there will be a solution for this issue on the next update. Or if there is an alternative solution, I will also update via Telegram channel or my Instagram account. You can join our Telegram channel by opening the link on the description of this video. And that's it guys for the issues that I found on the latest One UI 2.0 update. If you have other issues after updating to One UI 2.0, you can comment down below. Maybe there will be other users that have a solution for your problem. Don't forget to click the like button if you like this video and also subscribe to this channel for those of you who haven't subscribed already. See you in the next video.